I'm so excited. <laughs> I know. This I have very, to look at my. This is very spontaneous. Notes. Very spontaneous. Hello, everyone. Hi. If you don't know me, I am Jasmine. <laughs> and oh, where's mine? We need some liquid courage. And this here is Stacy, my dear friend. Hi. But why cats? But could also change username in the future. Yeah, maybe. Tentative. <laughs> tentative username. Tell us your current system so we at least know <laughs> some background of your usage and what you know when we get into like, stationary things. Well, I'm all up in TRC right now. It's all TNs. I don't do Hobonichi anymore. And then... Gasp. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Um, I plan in my plotter. So. Plotter, TNs, ex Hobonichi user, mm -hmm. um, TN standard passport. Standard. I hate passport. But you own a passport. But is I it do. still it's your my wallet? wallet? Okay. Yeah, it's my wallet. My only passport is also my wallet. So those are our credentials. Those are her credentials. <laughs> not my very. my credentials are Hobonichi A6 sizes. TN standard passport wallet um, and plotter for family planning, finance, all the business stuff is my plotter. Plotter is very businessy to me. Structure. Yeah. It's your work. Wait, do you use, you have an A5 plotter? But I don't use, I use it for drawing. Drawing. So it can be artsy too. Emily is very artsy in her plotter. Yeah. So it's very memory keeping vibes. Yeah. Everyone else I know is very business in their yeah. plotter. But today's podcast episode, <laughs> I guess, we are gonna get really chatty about recent events. Mostly Travelers Company, which is why we are seeing what Stacy uses with Travelers Company, what I'm using with Travelers Company, and really focus on the recent event called the Road Trip Caravan. Uh -huh. I don't know what it's officially called. It's it's called, I think it's called TRC. Let's like, go on a road trip. Like caravan. <laughs> caravan. Like they're it's going, a caravan yeah. and then it's like road trip theme. theme. Yeah. I just keep saying like road trip TN or like road trip event. Yeah. I just keep saying the word road trip. But it is a caravan. There's three total cities. And we were lucky to go to the first one. In Long Beach. In Long Beach. It's funny because on the flyer it says Los Angeles. <laughs> but it's LA County. Common mistake. Com yeah. It is a common mistake with like global announcements and like titles. But then if you're physically in the space, you're like, that's not LA. Yeah. That's Long Beach. I mean, if you told anyone like, oh, it's going to be in Long Beach. Nobody's going to know. <laughs> that's true. No one would really know. But when they announced it and said it was in LA... I already had a little bit more panic because of like, oh, like so far from me. Traffic. Traffic. Parking. Parking and just way busier. And then when they said it was Long Beach, I had like a huge sigh of relief. Yeah, I was that's like, okay, chill. That's more manageable. <laughs> <laughs> and then it made sense because the warehouse manufacturing area, I don't even know what, know what to call it. Headquarters? Yeah. Headquarters. Well, their first headquarters was at Intertrend. They started there. I had no idea. Yeah. It sounded so familiar. Travel, Intertrend like Communications. Their, um, like TRC USA mm -hmm. started in Intertrend. So what? I think actually it was what's the What's Intertrend? Uh, I think it's a Asian, what is it? It's like creative media company. Okay. That I makes sense. I think. I was like, how can Should a we fact company... Check? umbrella travelers company obviously they outgrew that space yeah <laughs> which is why but that's really cool what a full circle moment for them then yeah to I go back to intertrend and point. host an event that is really cool for any of our um listeners that aren't watching the video we are actually in the back of stacy's car <laughs> <laughs> we thought how funny to like connect this road trip theme obviously we're not driving anywhere you can be the driver yeah um, just pretend we're in your back seat and we're chatting and you're just listening to all of the recent happenings there's gonna be a little bit of tea a little bit of discussion <laughs> some funny some serious about travelers company the community being on social media being a journaling 
member of the community using social media there's so many nuances i'm scared <laughs> i'm scared <laughs> i'm scared too yeah but it's you you're gonna want to listen to everything because stacy and i have no idea where th- this is going no we've actually refrained from talking to each other during dinner yeah. so that we don't say everything we want to oh, say i found the information for the intertrend okay. so intertrend is an award-winning creative agency based in long beach california and they create in- innovative campaigns for brands that focus on thought leadership through Asian American perspectives, experience, and influence in a global context. And then a fun fact for travelers in 2020, Travelers Company USA was established in the basement floor of this creative institute before moving to its current location in Signal Hill. Wait, what year? 2020. So they started there. Yeah. Full circle. They must have moved out fairly quickly after. Because speaking for myself, I discovered this side of the journaling community during quarantine. Mm-hmm. And I think that's when Traveler's Company really blew up for a lot of people. Yeah. There's a lot of OG users, and I know they pride themselves with using Traveler's Company before it blew up. Mm-hmm. But I want to say a majority of the currently active users of yeah. TN discovered it and fell for it during quarantine Mm, 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 mm. for me it was 2022 so it was the end of quarantine and like the start of everything opening up up again um but everyone still had that shopping itch that you had during quarantine and just buying all the things Mm -hmm. so i was moving from bullet journaling to traveler's company and now i'm full on a traveler's stand yeah (laughs) And your first TN My first TN was from when I was working at M. Lovewell. 2023. Yeah, it was yeah. last year. Like, I knew about the brand for the longest time. Yeah. And I have seen it multiple times when I went to Japan. Look what they say. But I think it wasn't, like, within my budget back in the days. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just, like, never gotten the appeal of, like, a plain leather notebook. Yeah. And it had like I agree. a rustic look to I, it. It's very vintagey. Yeah, with rustic. like the little like metal button on the side, mm-hmm. and then like just like an elastic band around it. And then raw, not raw edge, but a raw inside. Yeah, the yeah, inside yeah, is, yeah, yeah. And Still like the other side of being the in Asia, you had like so much choices, mm-hmm. and it's just like why would I choose a plain leather notebook versus like other things with pee patterns on yeah it. yeah <laughs> especially patterns. being in like early 20s it's like i feel like i was looking at different things yeah that's so true because i went from cutesy bullet journaling and bubble letters mm-hmm. as my header to now <laughs> i can't even imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> and that was not that long ago that yeah, was just yeah, 2022 yeah. and then um you're right it does have like a little bit of a mature factor to it traveler's yeah. company i yeah. think it's because of the leather um but also just portability mm-hmm. a lot of what i was using before was really heavy and bulky yeah and but you didn't care cuz you were like you were young and then like your shoulders yeah, and didn't you bring hurt. everything <laughs> that's uh, your shoulders didn't hurt you weren't bring for me i'm carrying so many other things are you okay <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm carrying so many other things for my kids and other family members i have to condense yeah. what i carry for myself yeah and then Bringing things to your workplace and back home all the time, it, you need to lighten your shoulders and your back. <laughs> That's so true. Yeah. And not have, like, a ginormous pencil case with bullet journals of 160 GSM. Now it's Traveler's Company notebooks that force you to be minimal yeah. and, what's the Functional. word? Functional. Functional, yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. So should we get into... Our talking points. So we have a little backstory of Inner Trend and what a full circle moment it is mm-hmm. that they went back there. That's mm-hmm. really nice for them. That must have been special yeah. for the workers. And then um, just in general, we'll start talking about our experience with Traveler's Company. While Stacy and I are friends and we went the same day, we went at separate times. So mm-hmm. we both have a different experience. And Stacy, having gone earlier, I think saw a lot of how logistically it changed by the time I got in because I felt like it was smooth running they Mm -hmm. really knew what they wanted to do they made changes so fast yeah they made changes really fast and what I wanted to say earlier but saved for now that we're recording (laughs) is that I noticed um 
people's photos, whether it was Traveler's Company, whether it was April's photo or Job's photo, that the layout that they were showing while uh-huh. setting up was completely different from yeah. the layout that I experienced. Yeah. So why don't you talk about what time you got there, how long you waited in line, and say your experience as being the first one there, and then I'll talk about my afternoon experience. Um, so we got there around, I think, just a little bit before 10. Mm-hmm. Um, and there was already a really long line, and it was, like, till the, almost, like, the end of the block. Yeah, like... <laughs> <laughs> That's like, where I got that in was, line. That was, was the line. <laughs> the end of the block. Um, and I think... Did anyone greet the line once the doors were officially open? People were greeting... Uh, I think Christina and April were greeting the line. Just at the front or, like, walking down They the were line? walking down, and I think mm-hmm. they were getting ready for the first round of Spiral Notebook, the Viking thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and they were asking people if they had... Uh, reservation like in, what time was, and then yeah. yeah and if it was close to 10 then they would put people out in line and then they would get them ready for the spiral stuff mm-hmm. um yeah job came like pretty much everyone came out i think to just take a look at the line and like yeah get a I little bet. grasp of like the situation i i'm going to assume that mr ashihiko ijima mm. is the one who writes the blog posts for the travelers company japan or yeah. do you not know i think I think is, is so it? because yeah. the words that he wrote in his in the journal spread that was shared on the TRC Instagram mm-hmm. is the same as the Japan blog. Okay, so I saw the I got a notification or email or saw it on Instagram of the blog post posted today uh-huh. about the first few days, and um, it was funny because in the blog post he said that he kept like walking around and fixing things and every so on would look outside Mm -hmm. and he was surprised at like 9 30 or even i'm sure way before that that there were like 50 people it it had to be way before that yeah and then like a few people and then he would just he would count he would count and then he's like i just gave up counting yeah he's like (laughs) i I can't count anymore at this point but i also was at the end of the block where Uh it turned into the other building and at my at that time i was already there at 12 20 uh-huh. and from start to finish or from the end of the line to the front doors was two hours for me and i think it's you said it was the same it was two. about an hour and a half yeah let me double check because considering that the fact that you the line's not going to really move even once the door is open for you right because all those people need to do their thing in spiral notebook okay so i got there at 10 and then I got into the store at 11.20. Okay. Yeah. So That's an hour pretty and a half. Mine's a whole hour more <laughs> than that. <laughs> Given that people are already well into the activities in the space. Mm-hmm. So one thing I regret is I was so focused on now that I got into the door. Mm-hmm. And I was focused on like following the line. And then, of course, now that I'm in there, after waiting for two hours... I'm looking around, but I completely missed the wall of submissions Mm -hmm. and the wall of entry of winners. Mm -hmm. Um, There was a road trip contest. Right. And for for USA residents to submit a journal spread and a certain number of those uh, entries would win a Traveler's Town TN. Yeah. And then the rest would win an insert. Yeah. And they had all of the photos on the wall. And I completely missed it. Like, mm. I recorded a little bit of it, not mm-hmm. knowing what it was. Mm-hmm. Um, and I that's, like, one of my regrets is not taking the time to, like, look at all the community it spreads. It was so chaotic. I, I feel it was like really chaotic. if nobody pointed out that they were there, we wouldn't have known. So when we walked in, like, it was, like, so exciting because, like, we saw Christina and she, like, greeted us. And mm-hmm. we were like, oh, my gosh, Christina, we haven't seen you in so long. And then she, like, had a... Did she not, like, did nobody at the door, like, showed you a map of, like, where she everything She showed is? me the map. She handed the pamphlet. Yeah. But it was pretty much, like, a, here's where the line's going to go. Um, and the first thing you pass by to stay in your line are the shadow, ba- shadow box yeah. of the TN and all the new items. Mm-hmm. And then the wall of submit um, entries. Right. But in... 
all the excitement, it's the first thing to miss. Yeah, because you're like looking at the line first. Yeah, on your you, right you're, hand you're side. like, okay, let me follow the line. Let me get into my spot. And then you look down the open room and the wall of community entries are at your back. Yeah. So then the whole time, now you're people watching mm-hmm. everybody else in line. You're noticing people. You see your friend all the way up, you know. So then now my back is to the wall the whole yeah. time. But I wish. I, I only knew about it because friends who were on the wall shared their photo on mm. the wall. It was Jackie that was, like, telling Celeste that her entry was on the wall. I knew about Jackie because she was, like, the knew. winner of yeah, all yeah, the yeah, winners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was, like, the main number one winner. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw Gitika. She has a, po- uh, a photo on there. Jamal had a photo on there. Um, and so I only knew about that because they shared their Instagram post. And I just felt like... That was one of my biggest regrets because that was a community moment, it a was. time to like share on story and really shout out somebody else on the community and like mm-hmm. that's so cool you entered you you got an insert and here you are now like being oh my god <laughs> <laughs> here you are now I think you have to turn your car battery on oh my god I didn't I don't, I I don't didn't think your battery died I, I think d- it's just like run out of it just like is like what are you doing? I think it's a defense mechanism so you don't uh, run your battery, you know? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Why does that sound like a Japan train That's station my sound? Dash cam. <laughs> That's so funny. I thought the flow of the line was really nice, though. I thought it snaked through the tables and the space the best way that it could. Yeah. So that you could see everything. It was kind of annoying that, like, I have to, like, walk through things that I wasn't interested in Mm. because of the line. I actually (laughs) skipped skipped certain parts, and I think I know what you're saying, which part you're saying, because... I split from my husband, yeah. and he kept my place in line, yeah. so I could walk around freely and look. Yeah, um, but I mean, it's it, it was the best solution. It was the best for the solution. space and for the amount of people. That was like the only thing to do. So, I think about two twenty when I got to the front entrance, it started drizzling outside, Ooh. and this. I can't. E- I I don't want to say the words deja vu because I never. I didn't go to Stationery <laughs> Fest. But it reminded me of Stationery Fest <laughs> I, I because totally of the line and the drizzle. I thought that you went to Stationery Fest. I didn't go. <laughs> Even to though I knew you did not, because we did. The we were the two. Home. We were the two who didn't go. <laughs> but when I was writing my like outline, I, know, I, I was like, that. I wanted to ask Jazz, how is the Stationery Fest? <laughs> I saw this in your notes, and I was like, I didn't go. Yeah. I was like, but we could compare. I, I don't know. We talked about it as yeah. if we went. We ta- We did talk about it as if we went, and I've heard a lot of. Uh, feedback from people who've gone so it kind of feels like I went Mm -mm -mm. but I didn't go through all the pain and suffering that other people went through Mm -mm. but having gone through the line and then the drizzling reminded me of stationary fest yeah and I can't imagine people standing in line for much longer than I did Mm -hmm. and having to go through drizzling rain and just being in New York Mm -hmm. so like Props to all the people who and we were went local. through that. <laughs> like, it didn't matter. Yeah, we're local. That's true. Yeah, if it's I like, was traveling. Yeah, and, I and was flying. But they did have the downstairs basement overflow space, mm-hmm. which is great for everyone who had to stand in the drizzling rain. Because I think it got a little harder. It rained a little harder than that afterwards. But the downstairs space definitely saved the overall temperament of the event i would say a temperament of people to not like freak out or (laughs) i think for the most part people were pretty happy like yeah surprisingly i like after we got in line in the morning i walked through the whole line to like say hi to everybody that i knew Mm -hmm. and just from like hearing conversations left and right everybody was just really hype and like excited and they were like we were in line for an hour and a half, but, like, nobody complained. No. Everybody was just like, yeah, Shinso, what are you going to get? Like, and they were like, you know, like, you were showing your journals and stuff like yeah. that. People, 
<laughs> I out of all the moments of you guys to find me in line, I thought that was the funniest time. Yeah. Timing. I, yeah. That you guys would literally come out and I have my TNs open, <laughs> showing it to the people behind me. Um, there was one woman behind me, and it wasn't complaining at all. It was more so, she totally thought she was gonna be able to come in and out to the event. Mm. Her and her husband were attending a function later that night at like six p.m. Mm-hmm. So their only concern was like, are they gonna have enough time mm. to get to the next event? Yeah. And I think it took the husband maybe twenty minutes to be like, are you sure you want to stay? Mm-hmm. And then the wife was like, no, I don't want to keep you waiting. And then kind of back and forth, and we can all kind of hear. And then it's funny because he saw DJ mm-hmm. and he goes, well, he's here with a baby. I have he's like, I have to like, I can't not be husband of the year and not stay. So it was kind of funny, a funny moment. And they did stay and they mm-hmm. had a great time. And we actually talked with them because they have a trip planned in March for Japan. Mm-hmm. And so we talked about all the Travelers Company locations. And it was really nice to see a lot of husbands mm. for me because mm. DJ uses a TN passport as a wallet, so we met. That he was the first hu- next husband that we met in the in behind us in line. We met another husband at the stamp table, and mm-hmm. he was stamping for his wife. His Aww. wife was there, mm-hmm. but he was also stamping. And at the end of it, he bought a TN, Aww. his first TN. So mm-hmm. I, s- it was really nice to see other spouses like supporting, yeah, supporting, and not just being like cross arms you know yeah next to their wife watching them yeah and being dragged air yeah. quotes <laughs> being dragged through an event for three hours but actually partaking and enjoying and maybe being converted into traveler's company mm-hmm. <laughs> so that was really cool too but generally everyone was super nice yeah and very happy it was to be like there preppy yeah like, yeah it was pretty preppy like i do want to talk about the person that was in line in front of me okay and kudos to this guy out of any other (gasps) attendee it's the guy who's not even a journaler or Uh. a stationary person he went to pick it up for a friend and i'm gonna use air quotes again for friend because who stays in line for three hours (laughs) and picks up something he knows nothing about and me and dj were like this has to be like a girl that he's trying to impress yeah or like you know something like this guy wouldn't just stand here Going for any old friend beyond. definitely above and beyond and he actually heard me talking to someone who had seen me in line and you know been a friend so we were talking and I told the person I was talking to did you see Ijima son mm-hmm. and they were like who's that I was like he's the creator and then he was like no way I have to get back in there mm-hmm. <laughs> I didn't know that he was the creator so then the guy in line with me was like, wait, who's that? Like, Because yeah. obviously he doesn't know about Traveler's Company. He doesn't know anything about stationery. So now he's like, wait, why are you excited about this person? Yeah. So then all the women around me were like, you have to get you have to get a signature for your friend. If your uh-huh. friend's like a really big fan, uh-huh. like that's just an extra, extra brownie point for you. Mm. So me and DJ were like, he's going to get smashed real quick. <laughs> Bro's getting laid. He's getting laid <laughs> for picking up and standing in line for three hours, getting the road trip items. Um, because he was in line in front of me, when we got to the products, he asked, like, should I get this insert, like this notebook or this notebook for the stamps? Aww. And he was going to buy the craft paper. I was like, you have to buy white because mm-hmm. at least you can use the white paper anywhere. Yeah, Craft paper will just stick out no matter where you use it. So I was like, white's the move, (laughs) and get two or three of every stamp, (laughs) have Ijima-san sign multiple pages, you know, whatever. So he did all that, and I I hope... Best of luck. Yeah, best of luck to him and his friend. (laughs) (laughs) So other than that, like... The t- my my surrounding experience in the line was great. Yeah, and it no, made it was so positive. It was really positive, and everybody was just so excited, and there's so much love for TRC. Like, it was it was crazy positive. Yeah, really good positive. I only bought road trip items. Mm. The one thing I was sad about not seeing were the buttons. They were mm. all sold out. There were so many. Yeah, it looked really full but at two per person it would and 
Do you believe that there were 400 plus attendants? I got the number from Traveler's Companies. They had the post. clicker. Yeah, I saw so them they counting. Counted. That just so, is so mind-blowing. Yeah, like there were at least 400 notebooks that was bought yeah. that day. I, I didn't a, really put that notebooks. together until somebody commented on my post and was like, do you really think 400 notebooks? Like they had 400 notebooks? And I was like, that's a good point because if they said there were 400 attendants, they had to have had at more least, than 400 yeah. notebooks. And I bought two. Yeah, I bought two, too. A lot of people bought two, yeah. so that's crazy. Mm-mm-mm. What did you buy? You bought other Traveler's Factory I items. I got the short trips inserts, mm-hmm. and then I got, like, the colored craft inserts. Um, I got the bag. Yeah, the sling bag that, like, all the staff had. That was so cute, and I've <laughs> wanted it for the longest time because I see Joe wear it all the time, mm-hmm. and um, I got it in navy, which is one of the, mm. I think it was the last two. That I've considered that bag a lot, and like the brown one, of course, brown for me. Yeah, and then the I'm, pins, of course. I'm sad about the postcards for you. I know, they I really were very wanted nice the postcards. postcards. When I saw it in the photo, I was like, oh, I would love to get another one mm-hmm. of the brown postcards. Mm-hmm. It's, like, all brown with the quotes on it. And then when I got to the cart of products, it was pretty empty. Uh-huh. But I couldn't remember that there were other items. Yeah. In all the excitement. I mean, I, I didn't know what were th- what was there until I saw, until the, photos, saw the photos. And I was like, wait, I didn't see that. Yeah, and you realize what was there yeah. and what wasn't available to you after the fact. I know there's only so many employees, Mm -hmm. but I wish someone was in line or someone was working the Mm -hmm. line Mm -hmm. to pull people out who are ready to check out Mm. so that if you are stand like if you already picked up the road trip items, Mm. you didn't need to wait for the 30 people in front of you. (laughs) I think maybe you just didn't happen to run into anyone that was because for us, that was April. Mm. Like after we passed the... Um, road trip cart Mm -hmm. she came over with like shopping bags yeah she was like oh like if you guys don't want to like you're not interested in buying anything else like the black wings the pins yeah just and like the the inserts just skip to the cashier so Mm -hmm. um somebody was there to let us know that yeah that would have been really helpful yeah i'm getting a delivery outside my house (laughs) Oh, is it stationary? <laughs> it's clothes, actually. Uh, uh, I'm like, uh. really excited about a dress <laughs> and skirt. That I've been in trouble lately because while my stationary purchases have been low, mm-hmm. my clothing purchases have in- been increasing. And it's usually that way. It's stationary or clothing. And it's because it's the fall season for me right now. Mm-mm-mm. Or holidays. But... I I think that would have been really helpful had that continued into the afternoon because for the 30 minutes I was in that part of the section, mm-hmm. um, there was no one jumping out of the line to go check out. Mm. Um, I knew that it was probably okay to do it, so I actually did it myself. Uh-huh. I All I needed at the regular table was a California insert. Yeah. So I asked everyone in front of me, mm-hmm. because there was only one <laughs> left mm-hmm. on the display. Um, and so I felt the need, like, I'm not going to just jump over these people, yeah, grab yeah. the last California, yeah, 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 and then yeah. check out. So I was like, does anyone need that California insert before I grab it? And they were all like, no, 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 no. So then um, right when I was going to get it, someone took it, <gasps> <laughs> who was, like, in front uh, of it. Um, so then I was like, well, now I can't jump to the cashier now Mm. i have to wait till it's my turn to Mm. ask Mm. um but i did end up asking the employee and they had more california inserts Mm -mm -mm. but it would have been helpful had people just been done to go check out yeah and get out of the line i think it just needs to be like a separate thing like not part of the line maybe yeah there yeah i get what you mean like if there was just a counter just yeah because the two employees checking people out were sitting at the product table yeah so it felt like part of it it was definitely integrated and so i mean there's only so many employees for them but i think that would have been helpful Mm. um or if somebody was walking around with the cashier and was like the scanner yeah and that i wanted to mention contributes to the whole weight of it 
mm. is there's only two cashiers. Mm. There's only two employees checking people out mm. out of 400 attendees. Um, and the staff is limited in that way. The Japan team focused on the viral spiking notebook, of course, um, restocking and just being hands on the floor. Mm. Um, I did say hi to most of them. And yeah. while they do speak English, it's not their primary language. So... Mm. I can see why TRC USA focused on the checking out and, of course, ringing people up properly mm. and the products like that. And so what I noticed was the Japan team were all the moving parts mm. and then the USA team were the greeters and the cashiers. Like the first people mm-hmm. you see and the last mm-hmm. people you saw. Mm-hmm. Mm. But I thought it was really cool to see Ijima-san like working, <laughs> restocking <laughs> things, like putting things on the... Um, but he got stopped very frequently for yeah. signatures and things yeah. like that. Yeah, that was really cool. And he had his um, notebook at the like front of the door. It was almost like the first thing that you see. It was ri- right next to the spiral notebook covers. On the, yeah, the bar top Like the tables. bar top mm-hmm. tables. And yeah, they were just sitting there. And then Emily was next to me. And like she was he like, wasn't with them? They were he, just he on was their just own? Like, he was standing next to it, but he wasn't like next to the notebooks like yeah. he was just which like is so bold knowing that <laughs> we know people stole yeah. items at stationary fest yeah yeah which is unfortunate now i'm thinking about it it's insane yeah and it's like you want to say that no one would do that in the traveler's company community but, but you, you never also know, never know. Yeah. <laughs> there's always oh my god you know, dude if that <laughs> happened they would never come to the states ever again i would be scarred is so i reading ijima san's blog post it's his first time going to la I maybe don't. not but it's his no nowhere on it did it no say he was he time. was he came i think for the ace hotel release that was um in los angeles mm. and new york actually so i ran into jomel oh, okay um, her Instagram is XOXO Jomel. Yeah. And she passed by me in the line, so we talked a little bit. Mm. And she went to the 2017 Ace Hotel one. Mm. And so her and her husband were, like, reminiscing and talking about it. And Aww. they just said how crazy it was to experience both. That was what was said times on the that the blog. Japan team. Yeah. Yeah. And how much it has grown. That's really cool. She actually showed on her Instagram story the next day mm-hmm. um, two photos the Ace Hotel and uh, the Long Beach event, and she put the photos side by side, mm. and just to see, like literally only two people <gasps> at the Ace Ace Hotel page uh, picture, uh, and then to see the line snaking yeah, around on the yeah. Long Beach, like what a long way it's come from 2017 to 2024. What is yeah. that? Seven years. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, I like didn't realize that all of the drawings on the IG page was really just Ijima-san's, like, I'm not drawings. surprised to learn that, Like, though. it was all of that. Like, yeah. when, and Emily and I flipped through the notebook. You're and, like, wait, I've seen And those. I was like, wait, this is, like, that. And yeah, uh, it was every such, like, single a post. mind-blowing moment. And to make the connection and yeah, hold it. Yeah, That's and then cool. I, like, literally had water in my eyes. And I was like, oh, my gosh, <laughs> I'm going to cry. Like, you as the artist. Yeah, <gasps> I can totally imagine. Yeah, no, I want to cry right now. <laughs> That you were holding it. A really special moment, and it was like a very very wholesome, inspirational. Inspirational. He was there, and it was just like really funny because like, even if I'm like fluent in Japanese, they like refuse to speak Japanese to me. (laughs) (laughs) And I was like trying to make comments, and he was just like, "Yeah, yeah, that." (laughs) (laughs) But you were full on speaking Japanese to him. Yeah, and making comments on his. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) <laughs> That's so and then emily was like asking him all sorts of questions like oh like oh she was like just commenting on like what was written and like drawn on the pages yeah. um but it was just like a very cute interaction <laughs> i feel like they totally give off the vibe that they don't know how big they are i like, know right very humbling uh, yeah, and yeah, very, yeah. yeah like ijima san very much gives off that like He's like, 400 attendees? No, we had four. Like, <laughs> you know, like, he would just, like, completely, like, not believe it himself. Yeah. And just be like, oh, yeah, I make leather notebooks. But I <laughs> think, then, like, it's really probably hit him much harder this time, especially um, in the blog post. Uh, he was writing how, like, 
how much it's finally weighing in mm. that there were so many different people. I read that. I was like, wondering so if that was so many part, different yeah. styles, so many different races, yeah, of, of people and of all different ages. Everybody was just like so excited about this yeah. little leather notebook. So I had to translate the blog post to oh, read it, okay. obviously, <laughs> and you could read it in Japanese. Yeah. And I'm sure the emotions hit much differently Dude, I was Japanese. I read it at work because I was like, I got to get ready for this podcast. And yeah, I was get like, in the zone. <laughs> I was like, tears Do some down while I had like my Excel sheet, like, <laughs> spread on my like, desktop. And I was like, hi, <laughs> When I got to that part, obviously reading in English, mm-hmm. I'm sure the Japanese emotions or the Japanese text hits differently. Mm. I still felt all the weight of that emotion in that sentence. <laughs> Where he did mention, like, there's so many different people, Mm -hmm. but we all use Traveler's Company Notebook. And I thought, like, that weighed on me still, Mm -hmm. even reading it in poorly translated English. (laughs) Like, just, like, the amount of diversity I think our our community has is just, like, very... um... (laughs) (laughs) I'm, like, blanking out, too. It feels like this. (laughs) It feels (laughs) <laughs> that's all that's all we can no articulate words. No, no words there really is no words for <laughs> this community and just how wholesome and genuine it is yeah and i feel besides so besides the reseller <laughs> <laughs> that is it, that's another Dude, topic it's on makari already i oh, was yeah. just looking at it, it. Was, no it was there the day of the event <laughs> It and the Spiral Notebook was sold for $55. Oh, that I hadn't seen, the Spiral Notebook. Yeah, I wonder when, what when it was only $22 to sign up for. Was it each or for, it's each notebook, each, right? Each okay. notebook. Because I did have a Spiral Notebook, but I did my friend's appointment. Mm-hmm. And we basically did like a swap because mm. she, I got something for her mm-hmm. and then she said I could have the second notebook. Mm. So I'm wondering like, I want to make sure I have an equal trade for her, <laughs> for her being so generous to mm. give me her second spiral notebook. But since we're talking about that now, okay. Um, I wish I brought mine, but I forgot oh, I it. have mine. I want to see yours, and tell me about what you thought of it, why you made the choices you did, and what you're gonna use your spiral notebook for. I don't know what I'm gonna use my spiral notebook for. I got the have a good day, good music. I'm surprised. I feel like, why would anyone not choose the road trip one? But I already have the cover for it. That's true. For me, I'm just like, I need to be road trip on everything. (laughs) Um, Yeah, okay. So, I got like a little bit of everything, literally. Did you see this? I did. It's really pretty. It's so cute. It's like the cloud one. And then did you know that all the different colors of that variation were like different patterns on it of like what the, the green cloud one, the oh green no one had mm-hmm. leaves on it yeah and i don't i forgot what the pink one had but i literally got one of each or like three of each yeah because you could fit a lot of pages um and i think i'm actually gonna just rip them out when i want to put them in my that's what i was thinking because had i done what you did i would have I knew myself that I'd be tearing the pages out. Yeah, this is more like paper, like, storage. Yeah, it's a paper inventory yeah, stock. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Not and to actually keep it mm-hmm. and journal in that order. It's the perfect size to cut out two because you already have the height and you just have to cut out the spiral part and it fits. I was going to say, perfectly. this: if you remove the spiral part, it still fits a whole sheet yeah. of a TN page. Perfect, like, like you don't page. have to trim anything out yeah like I or it's not would. it's not short now that you've cut the mm-hmm. spiral out and, and i just got pockets because i like pockets i don't know i think it actually might be nice to actually be like a paper storage option then i would put like extra like notepad paper in here mm-hmm. or like scrap yeah paper and it's just like my paper book I see you selected the half pocket, too, or quarter pocket, mm-hmm. like the really small one in the front. Oh, yeah. I chose the card file slot, yeah. like the full page one. And I was actually thinking, because I didn't know what I was going to do with the paper buffet, mm. I really had no interest in collecting 
an assortment of paper because I don't know what I'd do with it. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I'd probably be like you and rip them out to use in collages and other things like that. Yeah. So I thought, okay, what if I brought my own A5 Slim card pocket notebook? You know how they sell that separately permanently on the mm-hmm. website? I was thinking of bringing that and having them like re spiral it. <laughs> <laughs> but so, then they would have to punch. Yeah, I don't think it. they would have allowed yeah. that. But that ideally, cool. my perfect spiral notebook like it was all pockets. would basically be all card filed pockets to store all of my Instax Polaroid photos. Yeah. And I just love the road trip design on it mm-hmm. to kind of be like, let's go on a trip yeah, memory. of memories. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. You get it. <laughs> I get it. You get it. But what I did end up doing is putting a bunch of the pockets at the front mm. and then the plastic, this one. Mm-hmm. I have like 15 sheets of that. And the idea is to make it like a sticker release uh-huh. book because on the table it was labeled as like washi tape okay. Yeah, I saw that. But I don't know what the exact name of the plastic is. I think it's just so like PVC, no? I don't know. I t- I'm taking like a huge leap of faith mm-hmm. <laughs> in in what I designed. Mm-hmm. Um, I've tested it on washi and it stick like peels and sticks really easily mm-hmm. and well. I just don't know about stickers and pet tape. I did ask an employee and she said it does take sticker and remove it. Okay, I just think with all the different adhesives, there's no really set way of knowing how it's gonna do i think maybe maybe on the glossy side because you know there's one side Mm. that's matte and i think this would probably eat the adhesives a little bit Mm, more yeah and it gets stuck just on one side and then like washi on the other side perhaps that's good to note when i try it out because i have i put one of the stickers from the packaging on and it does have a little bit of adhesive residue Mm. but not to the point where it ruins the plastic i think if even if it had adhesive on it you could probably get it off with some alcohol maybe yeah yeah but i didn't really consider the fact that it's clear so now when you put something on it you see what's on the other side (laughs) not like a sticker release (laughs) insert where it's like white yeah um so that that might visually overwhelm me (laughs) when i'm like looking at at the side of pet tape or stickers and Ooh. then it's being completely shown through on the other side as well all right should we get into the negatives <laughs> <laughs> not really any negatives about the event no. it's more so zooming out now into the community mm. um the community at the event was really great i f- i honestly i had texted you this going to the event really restored my love for the community and Mm. just being a more vocal part of social media and journaling Mm. because before then I got really turned off (laughs) with this event and the reason I got turned off was having people approach me and ask me to buy items for them I remember that and unfortunately A majority of the requests came from people who I don't have a friendship with Mm. or a relationship with. Mm. And it just made me feel used to Mm. by members of the community. And I know that's not the case with a majority. But to still be inundated with that and kind of disregarded in terms of who I am as a person, but instead just being seen as someone's opportunity to get an item Mm. that just made me turned off to the community and to want to share content online, post online and just be myself online. Yeah. And the person I am on my account, if you don't follow me is I just talk all the time about things that I enjoy. Mm. And I was very excited for this event Mm -hmm. and to be, I know, I think I just am open and welcoming for Mm. people to message me but in this instance people were talking to me to share their disappointment Mm. in not being able to attend the event or that the event was only for the west coast yeah Yeah. so i just it got to me to the point of like why is everyone complaining to me Mm. i'm just trying to share my excitement and i have no will i have no power in any of it Mm -hmm. to please them yeah and so it just made me not want to talk about the event yeah even though it was something i was looking forward to a lot 
the amount of DMs is probably a lot more different than like most people's experience because I got like maybe like two of like it's not in Europe it's not in Asia yeah but like you probably had like more yeah than just two. the scale <laughs> the scale, the scale and, of like, what I received the swarm that like yeah comes when with the initial release yeah is like probably very like and I did get people to message me and share their sentiment because they also received messages mm. you know you could be a small account it only takes one or two people to ruin your mood or ruin your excitement mm. and to get into your dms and be like hey can you get this for me mm -hmm. um even though they're excited and it puts a lot of pressure on you even buying for my best friends in this journaling community it's still a pressure to fulfill their wants because yeah we know how much like we want it yeah we know how much we want it so it must be the same for how much they yeah. want it yeah so i was actually very thankful for the limit mm. of two per person i already think that's very generous it is yeah because one per person is all you need i know <laughs> A person only needs one. Mm -hmm. But I understand maybe buying for your friend who couldn't go, who would have gone with you. Mm. And that's also very generous. So Thank you, TRC. Yeah, thank you, TRC. <laughs> but the limit helped me to meet in the middle of setting a boundary. Mm. It, like, gave me a reason to tell people no yeah and it also helped me have the courage to set a boundary for myself with these people online um like uh i didn't say it they did yeah exactly <laughs> that's exactly what i'm trying to say like well i'm not saying no it's they have i literally could not yeah i couldn't even if i wanted to impossible. my hands are tied <laughs> that's exactly what i was trying to say um but as I've discussed earlier, I mm. did bring my husband to go to the event with me yeah. to help me purchase more. Yeah. And in the end, those are personal like friends. Mm. Close friends. And in the end, I think anyone can do what they want with the TNs. Mm. I personally, my opinion of resellers is if you want to, go for it, have at it. And this allows for people who couldn't go to the event to get their hands on one. And I know people hate overpricing mm. but it's much harder to get it it's much more expensive to get a ticket and fly over here mm. and then attend the event and pay for accommodation in a hotel that is true so i don't know in a perfect world we would just be nice to each other somebody did do that <laughs> that they flew over oh yes yeah so there over. was like a, a guy behind me and he looked super lost and i could just in the line or yeah, like looking like for they it? were they were like behind me in the line and he was just, like, lost. Like, his face just, like, he doesn't know where he is, like, what he's doing. And, like, like make, what is, the fuck is like, happening. He's, like, wondering, am I in the right line? He was just, like, you know, like, pacing <laughs> back and forth and, like, in and out of the line. And I, I just, I could tell that he was Japanese. So I talked to him. And you introduced yeah, yourself? Yeah, and I was just, like, what are you looking for? How can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> and he was, like, oh, like, I... I'm here for the Viking event, but, like, it's getting close to 10, which is his appointment ah, time. Okay. And he's wondering I if he should anxiety. leave the line. <laughs> and then April happened to be passing by, and she was speaking in English, saying that, like, if it is your time for Viking, like, go ahead and leave the line and go to the front. Yeah. Um, And so I told him, like, he can go to the front at 10. And while we were waiting, um, I asked him, like, so, like, are you literally here just for the event? And he was like, yeah, why wouldn't I? And I was like, but you guys have Viking in Japan. And he was like, but it doesn't have the car on it. And I was like, <laughs> what? But, yeah, there's some really dedicated people out there. Wow. He, so he flew from he Japan. He flew from Japan just to attend this event. Just to attend the event because he liked the design. Do you know if he was going to get the TN as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. was going to get everything. Because. Oh, and I was like, dude, you really like Traveler's Notebook. And he was like, I'm addicted. Like, that's. <laughs> that is like his like literally wording. Based. He was like, so I am stoic. addicted. And I was like, well, okay. I, I feel you, but like, oh my God. You, like, could, you could feel like his seriousness. It was so. It was like, 
I'm addicted. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I was like stunned. Like, that's, I didn't know how to reply in that's Japanese. That's cool and scary. <laughs> it was <laughs> kawaii. Yeah, it was kawaii. <laughs> <laughs> it was kawaii and kawaii. Yeah, I was like, oh my time. gosh, I love that for you. Yeah. And then he had to leave, and I was just like, Hi. I bet. He's like, I gotta get right back on my round trip flight <laughs> from Japan back to. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean. I joked about it, saying, like, that's pretty insane if somebody bought a plane ticket and went. But I would do the same if I had the if means. If I had the money, yeah. If I had the means, yeah. I wouldn't I would even totally blink. do it. I would just, like, because oh, my gosh, event in Long Beach, why not? Like, yeah, fly. Which is why I also don't care to argue with overpriced resellers. I do. I've never thought about it that way. Yeah, because not everyone can get on a plane ticket. I've definitely purchased... A handful. I think more than half my collection is out of the release date. Mm. It's way past because I discovered Traveler's Company Notebooks late. Mm. And it's overpriced. Mm. But I view it as I'm paying for the time I lost. Mm -mm -mm. Because, for example, like I think my superior labor cover is my most expensive. Mm. Probably paying triple mm -hmm. what, it, what it was. Which isn't bad because I think the current value of it is like almost 10 times the amount. Yeah. But I view it that the extra that I paid is the time I didn't know about it, mm -hmm. the time I couldn't buy it, and the time that I thought really hard of whether I wanted it or not. Mm. And all of that added monetary value to it, mm. to the fact that I had to pay more for it. And that's just the way I view it. But I know some people are like, well, it's only it it only costs sixty eight dollars. Why are you charging three hundred dollars? <laughs> you know, it Which does still sound really ridiculous. It is really ridiculous, but if that person can buy a fountain pen with the extra earnings that they got, then that's just more power to them. Mm. I think it sucks when you had the opportunity and it got snatched from you mm. because of a reseller. Mm. Like, maybe, I don't know, something running out, and it's, like, right there in front of you. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I think it's a hard topic, and I think most people lean... There's two sides. ...on one side of it, yeah. Yeah. I did see it on Mercari for, like, what, 150 What did you say you saw it for? The um, road trip? TN? I think I had a screenshot. <laughs> the spiral notebook, you said, was, like, 50-something. 50 55. So that's double. Yeah. And also, you're stuck with whatever that person created for so you. So, the whole... Somebody sold the whole entire collection. Like, tote bag, sticker, notebook, insert, clip. For $245. Wow, $245. That's the most I've seen. The 150 was, I, th I thought, pretty reasonable. Considering that if you're on the side of not caring about mm. reseller prices... It's around that price. Yeah, the usually. person... Oh yeah, the whole set was one thirty five with tax, mm. Long Beach tax. I was really surprised at how expensive Long Beach tax was. Ten. It's ten point two five percent, mm -hmm. and where we are is seven point, almost eight percent. So it's a big, a, a way bigger tack on it. But um, you have to consider the time the person took. They waited in line for three hours, mm -hmm. um, driving, gas, and all those things to go and get this physical item. So all of that adds into the value of what to resell this TN. If I were a reseller. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> but if I were, <laughs> I would have added those, you know, value to it as well. Yeah. It's just like there's a lot of complaint as like the buyer end. But oh, yeah, yeah. I think if anyone were a seller and they were selling to people they didn't know, yeah, it would be like, fuck, fuck it. <laughs> okay, the part that bothers me with the personal shopper request uh, 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 mm -hmm. is, so some, yeah, I got a few requests, right? One person said, I'll give you a 10% like buyer's fee. And okay. it, it was like, am I only worth 10% to you? <laughs> like, that's it. Like... Not even, like, a 15% tip for, like, going out of my way, getting it for you. I wonder what, like, the it. the buyer 
percentage thing is because there are services like that in yeah. Japan and yeah. stuff. I wonder what I follow an Instagram account that <laughs> that does it, and I've considered like hiring a personal shopper. Um, but actually, you know, I think their percentage was also very similar, like mm. almost fifteen percent, yeah. which isn't wow, <laughs> which isn't a lot. It's really not a lot. Oh yeah, what do you want to see for this station? Or what do what do we want to see from Traveler's Company? So I am one to v- to just vocalize my disappointments or my interests with whatever I'm using. So I've been very vocal about Traveler's Company, and I honestly am getting a little shy now that I've made acquaintance with some employees. <laughs> Because I have said some not so nice things about Traveler's Company. But in a way of like, I'm a fan and I would love it if they did this. Or it was a missed opportunity that they didn't do this. Mm. So it's never been anything bad. It's more so like, if I, if I had creative direction. Yeah. But everyone at TRC USA is doing the best that they can. And it goes without saying that this video is very biased. <laughs> because we are obviously fans. We love it. And we have been lucky to be in the position to introduce ourselves and to get to talk with them and to get to know the people behind the working hands around TRC USA. Mm -hmm. But I wish they did so much more with Traveler's Town. I feel like they could have dragged that theme out and made it way bigger. Mm -hmm. Um, I do like that the Traveler's Town kind of goes with the road trip Mm. because the Traveler's Town, their little excerpt, it started with, like, anyone who visits our town, Mm. and then it was, like, blah, 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 like, you'll never be alone here, you can always visit us. Yeah, there's, like, a, like, an entry, like, introduction story. Yeah, I love all their introduction So you think there is more. Yeah, it makes you think there's more, and they literally start every single one building up this imagination for Mm -hmm. you. And then they go on to the next thing. <laughs> They're like <laughs> road no, trip. <laughs> yeah, no love and trip first, <laughs> and then road trip. But I think it did you know love really and cool. trip isn't even like a new thing? No, yeah, yeah. I I have seen it teased in other designs that they did I in the think past. Even in like I think twenty twenty, they had like a love and trip thing. Yeah, and they just kind of went back to it, I guess. They, like, did a spin-off, mm. kind of. Yeah. Because I noticed it in another design as well. Like, the slogan was there. Mm. Love and Trip slogan mm-hmm. was there on, like, another pencil board. It just wasn't the full overarching theme. Yeah. But, seriously, if I could ask anyone on the team... I want a bakery tea in. Yeah, I Dude, would love a bakery Jackie tea would. Jackie would throw up. <laughs> I don't know for how For a bakery? Else. For the bakery because she for loves bread. For a bakery, bread. oh. <laughs> I, so I've followed her for some time and know a little bit more about her journaling. Mm. And the road trip theme I thought was just spot on. Yeah. I did not know that about her and, and bakery. She would go anywhere for bread. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of us enjoy bread to the point where yeah. we would love a bakery tea. Bread tea in. A bread tea in. I actually just got a bread charm. It's a little baguette oh. that goes on, like, the elastic of a tea. Oh, cute. Yeah, it's so cute. So that would have been great. Everyone knows that I love a good coffee theme. I'm lucky to have gotten that wish come true for me already for 2023. Mm. Um, I It's not my first time saying it that I'm disappointed by 2025's theme of Love and Trip. Mm. It just really makes me think of, like, 70s, Woodstock. like. Hippies. Like, tripping on drugs trip. Yeah, mushrooms. <laughs> no, yes. I don't know if that's what they were going for. Probably but not. Probably not, but I think they were definitely tying in the 70s because of the word, the quotes. In the blog post. Oh, I haven't read the blog he, post for that. I think Eijima-san also mentioned, like, the vibes. And that was, like, the San Francisco vibe. Mm, okay. That makes more sense. Because some of the words... I hope I'm not making this up. <laughs> some of the words sound like lyrics to older songs. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, if you look like, at Like, why the, can't we be friends? If you look <laughs> at the... Yes, we need some... 
the Spotify playlist. Oh, I've yeah, I see that they that have a playlist. That is all I like old songs. Mm. Yeah. So we're not wrong in like I making think, those connections. I think it was that vibe. Um, that's our assumption or like. I want to look through the road trip playlist. I think it's really cool that they make a playlist for it. What do you think about the TRC team actually going on road trip? I think it's super with their cute. caravan. I think it is cute, but I I I have some sympathy or is it empathy for the <laughs> employees who have to drive have to like you're not only working events with your employees but now you're traveling with your employees in a van for mm. 12 <laughs> 12 hours plus <laughs> and it's like when you do a pit stop it's with your employees when you get to your hotel it's with your employees yeah. when you get in the car it's with your employees and i'm sure they love each other <laughs> but to do how many days straight because you do the first two days of the Long Beach event. Um, they had two days in between, which was travel time for them. But I don't think they're going to Seattle. I think Seattle is they're gonna, like, only fly. April. Mm. I'm not sure. Well, who's going to do, like, all the Viking stuff? Is Townsend going to have the Viking stuff? Yeah. They need to. I guess. And how long is the drive? So, there's... um. They're not going to drive to Seattle, right? Um, I think here to San Francisco is farther than San Francisco to Port Townsend. Oh, really? It might be the same. Because um, someone on Instagram mapped it out, and she was like, should I do my own road trip? I think that's Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Actually, Jackie is doing an actual road she, trip right yeah, now. Yeah, she's driving to SF. Um. Yeah, I know someone else who was going to do it. I'm blanking on who. But they also like to do travels and go between um, Southern California and Northern California pretty often. Mm. I'm sure it's recording again. (laughs) Uh, Final stop is Art Toolkits. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're doing Viking also. That would suck if they weren't, but I'm pretty sure they are. Um, I did not know that Port Townsend is harder to get to for that region. Apparently, you have to take a ferry. What? That's really demanding <laughs> of your fans and attendants. But attendees. That's what makes it worth it. The trip. Love and trip. <laughs> Love and trip. You got a trip for real. On a road trip. Um, I think we've talked our driver's ears <laughs> enough. I don't know where you're thinking. <laughs> they have fallen asleep and crashed. I know. Uh, <laughs> don't fall asleep at the wheel listening to this, like, I think three-hour podcast oh now at this point. <laughs> Went back. <laughs> I'm like, to how are you I'm like, how are we supposed this? to close? <sighs> Just like, okay, bye. I know. <laughs> We would love to hear what else you'd like us to talk about because honestly, we could just probably keep talking forever and ever. And I can't believe it's eleven o'clock. I promise I'll be more coherent oh, no, next o'clock. time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed it. It's, you have to have the trip somewhere. <laughs> but I think our next one, honestly, I would love to do a post planner season mm. Techo Kagi with you Ooh, because. Yeah. I think I actually ha- don't know anything about your Techo Kagi. We have I haven't like heard from you at all about it because you've completely s- changed to TNs. Yeah. And I'm curious. Don't tell me now. <laughs> but I'm curious to know what your 2025 plans will be because you to me are like Hobunichi queen. <laughs> and I'm like very leaning into more Hobunichi stuff than TNs right now. Like, I will always have my TNs, but I'm in my Hobonichis actively more. Mm. And I think you're... I'm still piecing now. things together. Mm-hmm. And I I think I might end up, like, printing things for my plotter. Printing your own inserts and stuff? Mm-hmm. Because oh, I, I just, like, couldn't find anything suitable for what I want to do about it. We'll talk about it. Yes. If you if you want to hear about it, <laughs> let we us We want to hear about it. <laughs> we do. I do. Um, so if you have any questions, 
for but why cats <laughs> aka stacy um please leave them in the comments below please be sure to follow her she has the most amazing tn spreads the most amazing illustrations my favorite of hers are her ink swatches so if you are into fountain pens and fountain pen inks as well please be sure to follow her you're making you me gag, <laughs> gag. with the with the, <laughs> with, the <plug. laughs> with the plug stop it <laughs> And if you want to see more of her, then <laughs> be sure to give her love because or else she won't want to talk with me again on this podcast. <laughs> but honestly, Stacy is the most... No, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Stacy is my most like social media content interested friend oh my out of everyone. What so does that mean? It means like you are into this just as much as I am. Am I? I think so. You have great ideas. I think it's just the amount of like, you're like, wait, I don't want to be on the camera. (laughs) So she has all the ideas and I'm always willing to talk about it and be on camera. I suffer with not knowing what like the ideas are because I'm like, I know I want to make a video. I just don't know what about. And you have all the ideas. So we this could be a great duo. You just have to like this video (laughs) 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 or else she won't do it. Me and my like integrating like this, <laughs> addressing. I just I, I look at my hand. My hand is glistening. <laughs> <laughs> I need some lotion. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this comfy, cozy back. Are you journaling the right now? Well, they're supposed to be driving the car. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking their heads off this whole time. Mm-hmm. I think they fell asleep. <laughs> it's time for us to go to it's sleep. Not, uh, we need just, we need like a better structure for it. <laughs> no, it's just you talking, and then in the middle of it goes to an outro mm. video. <laughs> <laughs> like no goodbye, no nothing. Yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. It's yeah, just yeah, like, it's just like, like <laughs> whatever the outro outro song is. <laughs> <laughs>